Is the special treatment you designed specifically to keep customers coming back to you working against your business? I'm Denise O'Berry and you're watching The Little Big Show, your place for bite-sized tips that can have a big impact on your bottom line. One of the ways your small business can really stand out is providing superb customer service. Remember that people do business with people, not companies, so going out of your way to wow them can give your business a really big push. But you have to make sure and be careful that it doesn't come back and bite your business in the wrong place. Here's an example. A local jeweler offers free battery replacement for any watch that he sells. It's a really great hook to keep people coming back to his store on a regular basis and it increases his sales volume. But it's backfired on him and he's lost at least one customer because of it. He's run into a problem getting the batteries, so now he has to send the customer's watch off, which lengthens the time for the repair and doesn't provide the greatest service to his customers. One customer got so irate, she's sworn she'll never do business with him again. That is a huge oops. He's going to lose thousands of dollars of business over a $6 battery. This should have never happened. You need to make sure and stay on top of things that are happening in your business and you need to address issues proactively with your customers. If he'd have advised his customers in advance, I'm sure it would have nipped the problem in the bud. Here's what you need to do right now. Think about the perks you're providing for your customers. Does it save them money, save them time, make their life a little bit easier? or is it causing a problem that's driving them away? You need to make sure it isn't. When you first roll out a customer perk, you need to walk through the process just as if you were a customer. That gives you an opportunity to fix any kinks or holes in the process before your customers are exposed to it. Then on a regular basis, about every three to six months, you need to walk through the process again to ensure that nothing has changed and there aren't any problems with the way the process is working. Make any adjustments to the process that are needed before your customer has to experience them. Have you run into any issues like this with companies you do business with? How did they handle it? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And if you know a small business owner who could use the information I shared in this video, Send them off a link to it right now. They'll appreciate you for it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll make sure and get first scoop every time I upload a new episode. And don't forget to pick up your copy of my free success strategies guide, 10 keys to success for small business owners. You can get it at denisoberry.com. It contains tips in it that I don't share anywhere else and it'll help you move forward in your business. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Can make people something. Something, 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 something. Something, I think maybe I'll make a video with just somethings. Something, something, something.